All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to create boundaries for our spaceship so that it doesn't go out of bounds. In this video, we are going to give it our first enemy. So I've already downloaded an enemy image, which looks like a happy space invader. But it's not going to be so happy when we shoot it with our spaceship. But anyways, let's get this icon from flaticon.com just like we always have and search for space invaders. And I'm going to go with this uh, red space invader. You can select whatever you want and download the 64 by 64 picture as usual. And obviously in the PNG format. So now we can go back to our code and just like we did with the player, we can add this enemy.png inside our code. So let's do that. Let's just copy this whole code and just add it below the player, change it to enemy. So we're gonna change everything to enemy. So we just have to rename everything. Let's call it enemy. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this in the remaining areas. So let's just copy and paste everything. And instead of the player.png, we are gonna call it the enemy.png. And make sure you rename the PNG file. Otherwise you'd write, if you write enemy.png, it's not gonna work. But anyways, so we need to also create this function again. So let's just copy and paste this too. So we're gonna paste this over here instead of player. We are gonna call it the enemy and uh, everything else should remain the same. Let's format it properly. Another thing is in PyCharm, if you want to format everything properly, if you have written code that's not formatted and doesn't look good, what you can do is you can just press Control, Alt and L and it will format everything properly inside your code. So it's just Control, L. So as you can see, it says imports optimized. It will just make your code look good. So again, the command is Control plus Alt plus L on your keyboard. So anyways, now that we have added the function of the enemy, let's just go down below and add the enemy over here so that we can call the function while our uh, while loop is running. So let's add the enemy over here and instead of the player X, let's just call it uh, enemy. And instead of the player X, we are gonna call enemy X. And instead of player Y, we are gonna give it a value of enemy Y. So right now you can see that the coordinates are the same as of the spaceship. So this should overlap our spaceship. So let's see if it's overlapping or not. So right now it's not overlapping. Let's, uh, let's actually check out why is that happening. So this is because inside our enemy function, we have not renamed this to enemy.amg. So let's do that. Uh, let's rename it enemy.image and then just reload it. And this should work properly. So now you can see that the enemy is in top of the spaceship, but this is not what we want. We want the enemy to be like somewhere on the top. So maybe in the middle, but on the top. So we can let the enemy X remain the same, but I'm gonna change the enemy Y to something else. Uh, let's give it a value of 50. I've already tried it out and 50 looks pretty good. So let's see how it looks. All right, so our spaceship is moving and we have an enemy. But the problem with this enemy is that it's not moving. It's very boring. So we're gonna fix that in the next video. But for right now, what I want is that this enemy should appear in the random places. So whenever we kill an enemy, it is going to appear again or in the game terms, it's gonna respawn again. So I wanted to respawn in different places, maybe on different X axis. So maybe like maybe over here, over here after it's killed and maybe in Y it should also appear in different places. So maybe next time over here, next time over here. So you want it to appear in different places. So every time it reloads, basically we want it to appear in different places. And even at the starting of the game, it should not be constant. It should be totally random. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna make this enemy X and enemy Y actually random. So we have to first write down the line that actually helps us randomize values. So we are gonna import a package known as random and this is pretty easy to do. So let me just minimize this over here and then scroll down and over here we are just gonna write instead of 370, we are just gonna write random dot rand int. So this is a method inside the random package to choose a random integer between two values. And then we have to give it the value that we want. So we want a starting value and an end value. So in our uh, game, we want it to appear anywhere between zero and 800. So we are going to give it the starting value of zero and the end value of 800. And similarly with why we wanted to give a value between maybe 50 and 150. So Let's change this to 50. The 50 should be the starting point. So the minimum height should be 50 and then it can go till over here. Let's say 150, it's approximately 150. So I'm gonna give it a value of 150. All right guys, so this is looking pretty good. 
let's just run it again and see if it works so let's run main all right so this is working it uh, respawned over here let's reload it to see if it respawns somewhere else so let's just reload it and see where this time it appears this time it appears over here let's try the third time third time is a charm and it always works so this time it appears over here so our program is looking pretty good we have created an uh, enemy and it is respawning in different places so th this is just looking pretty good in the next video we are going to make sure that our enemy moves so right now our enemy is stationary it's not moving from the left or the right and it's not going down so we are going to make sure that we rectify that in the next video it's going to be really exciting so i'll see you over there